all right guys i'm super excited to continue this series of tutorial on how you can actually design your sales page that is in selling your products or your digital materials online um, using a plugin called elementor in wordpress so without further ado we are going to go into our wordpress dashboard immediately and then begin the process of creating our our sales page now let me go exit this screen a moment okay so let's go into our browser now this is the site you created then and you know we have to go through wp iphone admin to login so this is our username and this is our password so i'm going to log in into my uh, wordpress backend now that's where we manage our website for designing now that we are here we want to design a, uh, a sales page that looks similar to this that is what we want to try and achieve something that is similar to this so how do we go about achieving that now you need a particular plugin called elementor so go to plugins go to add new just watch as i do it it's so simple so simple now you'll be presented with this page come into the search bar type the word elementor 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 okay let me let me do that again elementor okay so press enter let's just wait for it to load now this is it the best page builder i've ever seen on wordpress i've used many but i read this one very it is very light and um, very flexible to use you get to see when we start designing now so click on install click on install my hope is that um, the network will be very fast tonight so i can actually brush this um tutorial still installing like we can see still installing <coughs> Oh my god the network is so okay now click on activate click on activate good now elementor has not been added to our plugin this is what we actually need to design the source page but this is how it gets interesting now if we go to our website now which is our root domain we are going to find the um default wordpress interface or the default wordpress um, look and feel so we are going to work with this to actually create our sales page in different categories so now go back to your dashboard wordpress dashboard now go to pages click on add new because we are just creating it from the scratch take for instance you want to create a sales page on skincare and you already have your contents ready now you name it the name you want to give to the page you could give it any name it could be acne it could be stretch marks it could be body hug whatever it is you want to sell with it now once you give it a name for the page click on publish just watch as i'm doing it it's very simple very simple to do just watch as i do this fine now once we publish it now check here we now have what edit with elemental so click on this click on this with consistent practice you're going to get this it's very simple to use it's very simple to use fine now we are now being presented with what the elemental edit interface now we are having the default uh, WordPress installation the team that we have we are not going to use this we want something blank we want to create it from scratch we want to achieve something similar to this do you understand I'm only using this for educational purpose don't copy people's content as your own source page you can be sued for it now come back to um, let's exit this screen now come back to your elemental um, edit area now the first thing you need to do is to work around the elemental canvas so go just check here this place that it writes setting click here now the page layout we want it to be what free of all of this um trash if i could use that word now click on elemental canvas now watch it watch it watch it 
good guys you see now we now have a very clean page we have a clean page now what do we do just update it so that we we can have that locked down now good now that we have it on a clean page we want to achieve something like this now this is a sales page that has that is centered it's not taking the full width of the website and you can see this is the width of our website so we want to put it also in the center just like they have it here so let's start with all these things the text are what they are called elements in elementor just like you have it here you have different element for what achieving all of these things if you want to put image you have everything when we start using it you get to know all these things now we want to put it just the same way we have it here now i'm going to copy this for what educational purpose let's start by what copying this line they they look similar let's just copy it. now before we do that we need to understand that what sites are always in columns and rows now this is a column this is a single column this is a single column so now in elementor to add column you always put what your mouse on this plus sign now the first thing is to add a section now click on this now inside the section you can either pick a column this is two column this is three column this is four column this is two column but one side is bigger than the other we only need one column click on this now once you click on it this is what the column inside your section look at this is your what your column is just one column now we need to put in this text into that column now we just go and pick what the text element now to make sure you activate the element panel just click on the column you see it's up or you can click here to bring it alive now we need to drag this adding element to what to the column just hold it drag it once it shows this blue sign release it now this is what we want to put the hello friend and so on and so so now this is the default text we need to change it just click here let's clear this and let's put our own text now we will need to center it like this now how do we achieve that now the first thing is to align it to either left or right or center if you take it to is already in the left side it will not go if you take it to, to the middle it will move if you take it to the right it will move let's put it at the middle first now again we need to change the color of this text go to style go to text color let's give it a black color simple now we need to also change um the weight or the size of the text click on typography now on that size you can now drag it and adjust drag and adjust you can see so you can size it the way you actually want so you can style it you can make it italics or whichever way so like we have it here is in two lines so we can actually break it and how do we break it go back to click on this to activate the text now the hello friend is at the top you might not see it now but just put your mouse here and click enter to bring it down so you could see it so it's going to give a little space to the top so that it could be visible now um let's make it the text a little bigger go back to typography and um adjust the size adjust the size adjust the size okay um let's put the hello friend at the top good now one other thing we could actually do is to change um the font family Maybe you want to use San Sharif or whatever. So come to family, um, Tahoma, um, Helvetica, and so on. So um, I want to be fast about this because of the network. You can actually change the weight. We want it to be normal. Okay. So that said, um, so yes, let's come back. Let's break this into two. Okay. Okay, let's give it a space like this i think it's okay here yeah. yeah so now once you are done let's update it let's update it let's update it good now let's preview if you want to preview your work you can always click on this thing that looks like an eyeball fine oh see something guys we have it here we have it here but then it's not really aligning to the middle we can do something now first let us adjust this text sorry click on it let's give it a little more space now we want to make this column to be centered now click on this section you want to now work on this section you see that the another panel will show up 
now on content the content is already boxed but we want it to be what in the middle in the middle i think you're saying something guys the middle so drag it to the middle i think it's okay let's update all these things will boil down to your creativity it's easy to play around with good i think we have something similar to what we have here now let's go for this next text also it's going to be inside another column just a single column let me just copy just for use educational purpose now let's cancel this now go back to your elementor page builder now the first thing we need to pick it was is a section on using this plus sign mind you elementor comes with page uh, template but it's beyond the scope of this training i also use it in designing website but that's it training on this one entirely so click on add new section we also need another one single column pick it now once you do that you click on the column to activate the elements now we need the text the heading text again drag it inside and release it now let's remove this default and let's paste the ones we want to use there now it's also taking the full width now the first thing is we want it in the middle align to middle now let's go style change the color of the text click on text color black now now that we've done that we can actually reduce the size by dragging this to fit to what we actually want you can see you can see okay yeah okay now it's taking the full width we are just that now but let me change the font family let me use another font like let's say acme okay now we want to actually make it to be in the middle just like this is in the middle you shouldn't take the full width of the page now just the same way we are going to go into this section once you click on this it will activate that now come under style no on the layout rather we are here already so it's already boxed just move this to center line you can see guys perfect it's already what in the mid just like you have it here just like it. let's give a little space you can just pick your mouse and place it here and then click enter to give a little space or you go use the padding using the style element and then you start the advanced element to style the padding but we don't need that for now so let's save this and let's see i'm going to break this um tutorial into different parts so that um it doesn't get muffled up and i will find it easy to render at the end of the day so good let's let's see what we have done so far awesome guys look at let's see we are achieving something close to this so it's just for you to see how easy you can play around with the element to come up with whatever thing you want to do now if you check this next is an image how do i know if i right click on it it's going to show me save as image so it's just like a cloned image from a particular presentation so we're going to use this image let me just download it to my pc i'll download it on my pc now to do that again we need to what add a section let's close this page go back again add what a section as usual now under the section we need a column add a column now under the column we want to put an image so click on the column to activate the element panel you now look for what the image element now hold it again drag it into the column once shows this blue sign release it now once you release it it's going to open up this to bring your image you can see it's taking the full width and height now we're going to adjust this but let's bring in our image first click choose your image choose your image i'm going to get an image from my laptop let's go to upload file click on select file um okay this is a file on my desktop let me look for an image i can use i think i'm designing a site with this okay let me use this good that has a very uh, good width so click on this wait for it to load just wait for it to load good guys it has just um, loaded now once it's done loading now click on insert media insert media click on insert media are you saying something guys exactly fit into the middle it's fitting into the middle but um we can actually float it anywhere you can float it to the but we want it in the middle so we can actually do more you can adjust the width if you want it bigger do you see 
you can use this handle to adjust it but we want it to be centered we want to be centered and um once this is done i think we are cool with this now we can actually box it with what with the section into the section so that it doesn't spread beyond that so click on this and um, remember you just use this to what to center align it into what into the box so that the section is what is also aligning with other section so you can see if you update it now if you update it now let's check again so you can just keep playing around it just keep playing around it i just want to use this as an educational you can see you can see so similar to what we have here so guys i'm going to do one more before i actually end this video or oh, okay there are so many let me just put in this and um you can do so much with this thing i'll do this and actually show you how you can bring in this um um image and make it rounded and once that is done um i'm up with this video so you guys should continue working on it yourself so now let's close this now this is not a single column here this is an image and this is a text how do we achieve this just come into um create another section now in this case make it two section and you can see the section is taking the full width the first thing we need to do is what edit the section and bring it into the middle bring it into the middle just watch good now it's already at the middle here now we want to now achieve what this and this this and this so how do you go about it now um we're going to bring in this image so i'll download it to my desktop right away just click on right click and save image now let me bring in the image element first so we're going to place it here click on this pick your image element and drop here good now um we're going to choose the image as usual let's go and upload it let's go to select files um let's see let's see let me go to my desktop let me go to my desktop and look for the image okay i have it here so let's load it let's load it i wouldn't want this section to go more than 20 minutes so now once it is loaded click on insert media insert media so there you have it guys it's already in here so before i adjust it to suit this place let us quickly bring in this text that we have here now this text is sitting on a gray background how do we achieve this now let us copy the text first it's just simple it's just giving it a gray background now how do you do this click on the column you want to put in the text now um let's drag in we can use text editor this one will allow us put in a uh, different line of text so this is the default text let's delete it let's put us now we need something like a gray background how do we do that now come under advance other advanced go to background under background click on this now click on color now you can have different shades of color now let's move it around until we get some, look at we have something grayish we have something grayish yeah i think i'll, I'll go with this now guys you just saw the magic there so we have the image and the text but we want it to be in the middle now let's go to the section first and um go and move the width once again once again once again once again once again good now one other thing is um this we can reduce this section easily we make this one smaller compared to this now you can see where i'm putting this thing just drag to this side as you can see this one is becoming smaller why this one becomes bigger so guys I'm going to continue in the next tutorial and finish up on this same project how you can actually design this sales page and use other elements even you can add video to your sales page so um you have to just play around all of these elements play around them there's a whole lot you could do with them so i will see you guys in the next um, part thank you and god bless i remain just sincerely